this, this just won't do. Uh, uh, too bright. Way too bright. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H. And today on the project, we're going to do something that I should have done a long, long time ago. That's right. We're going to install a rear view mirror on the General Grievous ZJ. Now, when I got this vehicle, it didn't have a rear view mirror. Actually, it had one, but it was in pieces in the cargo area. So I went on eBay. I found this. This is a Dodge Durango mirror. Um, it was $10. And that's a huge score because they wanted $60 for the ZJ mirrors. And they're all the same part number. So I found one that is a plug in for the auto dimming mirror we're gonna go install this and plug that in and um the reason why it took so long is because when i drive home from work in the morning the sun is blinding it just cuts right through the glass these uh these visors don't help and um i need to get some tint so i went ahead and i found some five percent window tint we're gonna put this on the sun shield Ooh, yeah there we go hey what's up um and uh yeah and then we're gonna go ahead and install this mirror and we're going to glue the plate on this little thing with some uh, 3M adhesive. There we go. The good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's start this project. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is tuck in the wire for the mirror. Um, I don't want anything in the way. That's why I didn't put the mirror in <laughs> already. So <clears throat> there would be nothing in the way for my tint. Now I got a green scotch bright scrubby. Um, the guys at Safe Light, they told me when installing the mirror, it's best to scrub up the area, give it a little scuff. So they said use a green scotch bright scrubby, and I'm going to scuff up the area and where I think the mirror is going to go-ish. <laughs> now, I know the tint strip is coming down right about here. It's going to be mounted a little lower than it usually is. Um, so I'm just going to do this whole area. Got a nice little scrub, scuff up the glass. And of course, I'm using the 90% uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. All right, I'm gonna wipe it all down with a clean, freshly washed microfiber towel. And I'm gonna open up a fresh razor blade. And I'm gonna go over this, you know, wipe off any chunks scrape off any uh, impurities anything embedded in the glass you know um, bugs residue sneezes <laughs> get this all off all right it's gonna go up throughout the entire mounting surface or tinting surface or what have you there. okay and once more with the rubbing alcohol. Cool. All right, now we're on the outside of the Jeep. And uh, this is from Precut Auto Tint uh, in Freeport, New York. This is a local dude. So thank you, JT. Um, I'm going to throw a link to the eBay uh, listing so you guys can get this if you like. And we're going to open this up. All right, this stuff is wrapped in foam, very nice. All right, here we go. Here is our pre-cut window strip. Nice, dark, 5%. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and line this up and see which way it goes. So it's going to go just like this on the inside um, in this orientation and it looks like I'm going to have to trim just a little bit of this top corner. Uh, it said it's for a ZJ but I'm sure it's a generic fit for most vehicles and um, yeah I guess a little trimming is necessary. Alright guys we got a tint back in the ZJ and we got it lined up in the right direction. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to peel the tint from this plastic backing and we're going to put the adhesive side on the glass naturally <laughs> first we're gonna coat the whole thing with our famous dan h soapy water now, this stuff is good stuff 
It's my secret formula. It'll be in stores very shortly in the fiction aisle. So <laughs> gotta go ahead and uh, spray this down. The more the merrier. You cannot go wrong with soapy water. All right, now when you peel away, you're gonna wanna get it right onto the glass. So no contaminants get in between your tint and your windshield. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of overlap like we saw on the outside. And I'm just going to do right about there. All right, I'm gently going to peel this from the back and stick it on as I go across. A little cumbersome because it's such a long strip but whatever you do you're not gonna want to crease this so try not to let it fold in half on you like the previous six this victim was found folded neatly in half and placed inside the glove compartment of a sanitation truck police are baffled don't crease it don't fold it just peel and stick, baby. All right. All right, I'm just gonna work in some more soapy water. Since this is way driver's side, I'm gonna soapy water this thing and pull it over just a little bit. There we go. That's looking pretty straight. And I'm gonna pull this tight and try to get most of my wrinkles out with my hands before I start squeegeeing. And I got this big wrinkle right here, so I'm gonna throw up some soapy water right there. Why not? All right, now I'm gonna squeege from the inside out. And to do this, I'm gonna use the old credit card with two layers of duct tape wrapped around it. That works great for squeegeeing. I got a bunch of squeegees, but this old credit card trick actually works the best if I don't drop it. And I'm going to gently, without applying too much pressure into the tint, I'm going to gently squeeze out the soapy water and try to get out all the little bubbles. And I'm working my way from the center out to the edges and from the middle to the bottom and to the top. Alright guys, the tint is on. It's tucked nicely up under here and what I'm going to do now is take my razor blade and I'm going to go across right behind this line. Make a nice clean cut, get off that excess. Very nice. Alright, tint is in, looking good. There we go guys, nice clean tint line. No air bubbles, no fingers, no creases, and here's the excess we trimmed off both sides. There, look at that. Pretty good, I like it. All right, let's make arrangements to get that little metal puck glued on here for the uh, mirror. All right guys, now on windshields, there's usually a little indicator that shows you where the puck is supposed to get glued onto when you're doing a rear view mirror. Now, the puck is supposed to go right here for this vehicle. Um, I don't want it up there. I don't want to cut tint. Tint is awful when you try to cut it. So I'm just gonna mount it right up here, right to the very tippy top of this tint line, or bottom of the tint line, actually. Um, so I'm gonna go and do a, <laughs> another once over, and I'm gonna scrub off all the fingerprints that I'm putting on with uh, some more rubbing alcohol, and the scotch bright again. So I'm just gonna scrub the heck out of this whole area, right in the middle, right where I wanna mount this puck, I guess. It's a metal puck, 
<laughs> so we're gonna mount this metal puck right here. Scratch it up real good as per the instructions from the safe light dudes. And that's good. And I'm gonna give it a good wipe down with my microfiber cloth. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna read these instructions. Uh, do not apply in direct sunlight. Okay, good, the sun's setting. We are good on that. Uh, mark the position for the button. Okay, we know where it's gonna go. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Clean the mounting button. All right, I'm gonna go and sand this mounting button first. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get this clean as hell. Let's go inside. All right, guys. They want this clean, so we're gonna make this thing clean as heck. All right, wanna make sure we clean off the right side so the narrow side is the side that mounts towards the glass. All right, so what's cleaner than scraping off <laughs> a layer of this metal? <laughs> we're gonna gently sand down all the grime and whatnot. Who and whatnot? Yeah, that looks clean. Got my clean paper towel still. Let it dry for a minute. So we have to apply this adhesive. Actually, we have to apply the activator first. So we're gonna open up the activator. Here's the adhesive. I'm guessing this is a one-time use because I don't see a cap for this. Really, once you puncture this, that's it. I think you screw it on. There we go. There. That's the activator right there. All right, so we're gonna apply the activator with the applicator. <laughs> and it says we're gonna let this dry for five minutes after we put this on this plate and the windshield surface. So now I'm gonna go over to the windshield and coat the windshield where this is gonna go. All right, this is a one-time use, and don't mess it up. Guess we're gonna go right, right in this area. Gonna coat this very well, right up to the tint. Draw my little horseshoe shape. I think that's plenty big enough. And we're gonna let that dry for five minutes. Can you even see that? Yeah, all right, we're gonna let that dry for five minutes. All right, guys, it's been five minutes, and I know this because the counter on my camera has told me so. <laughs> During that time, I went over the instructions again, make sure we did everything correctly. Uh, got a clean surface. Uh, we applied the adhesion promoter, the activator, to both surfaces. And now all we have to do is apply the adhesive uh, to one surface and press and hold when it's in place. So I'm going to crack open this cap. Oh, man, tell me I need a scissor. Oh, here we go. All right, it says apply a big glob, well, apply enough <laughs> in the center. So that's good. Get the air bubbles out. <laughs> All right, I got a glob in the center. Now it says press and rotate until you get this in the right spot. So I'm going to press and rotate right here. And the wide part goes at the bottom, guys. Do not put this on upside down. That will be bad. There we go. Press and hold for a minute when you got it in the right spot. That's it. Let's count. One, two. Fast much too early. Prepare to fast forward. We're preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. All right, there we go. That's a minute. I'm going to wipe off the excess. And it says, you can put a mirror on this in 15 minutes. Now I call BS, I am not putting anything on this till tomorrow. I'm gonna give this all night to set up and cure. We're gonna let this glue get nice and cured. And that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. back.
it's the next day. We're out here with General Grievous. Hope you guys enjoyed that sunset um, out on the beach of Long Island. It's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, so I got the General. <laughs> I got it all opened up because it is a hot one today. And the instructions on that glue to, uh, to adhere the puck to the windshield says the optimal temperature is 60 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And since it's so hot, I came out here this morning, opened up all the windows, the sunroof, got the hatch open. I'm trying to keep this thing nice and cool because I don't want this glue falling off. I gave it a whole day to set. It's actually been almost 24 hours. So we're going to go pop this mirror on now. Hope that's nice and cured and hopefully it will never ever fall off. So let's go inside here and get it done. All right, here we are. We got our tint looking real good up here. We got our little puck, our little metal plate glued on. Hopefully that's nice and cured up. Again, a whole day to cure. And uh, here we go, moment of truth. We're gonna slide on our mirror, and uh, yeah, let's see if it holds. <laughs> well, good, it's on. <laughs> now all I'm gonna do is use a screwdriver and I'm gonna tighten this on. It's not going tight whatsoever. I do not wanna pry this off with the torque of the screw. There you go, perfect. It is on. <laughs> all right, now all I gotta do is plug this in. I can't see it. There we go. There we go, mirror is plugged in. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. All right, we're gonna give this thing a once over. I'll show you how everything looks, inside and outside. I'm seeing nothing but my dreams coming true While I'm staring at the world through my rear view They got me staring at the world through my rear view Alright guys, that's a wrap for my General Grievous window tint rear view mirror installation video. If you like the way it came out and you want to use the stuff that I use in the videos, I'm always going to throw links in the description below. Um, if you click my Amazon links, um, I get a little kickback, so I really appreciate that. A couple cents will support the channel, and that's great. Um, I'm going to throw a link in for the uh, 3M adhesive glue I used to stick on this puck. So far, so good. It's working. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out my window tint video, I'd appreciate that for the uh, XJ front windows. Uh, came out real great. I have a little more detailed video on how to tint right there. So that's it um, I really appreciate you guys following along with my general grievous ZJ build uh, It's doing great. I've had a blast fixing this thing up We're gonna go over this thing bit by bit and make it whole again. So I guess that's it remember to uh, like and subscribe and uh, I will see you guys on the next project. Peace Well now, isn't this better? Much, much better. <laughs> I will take it.